92.1 WROI time now for our Woodlawn Health Report that we do a monthly as we welcome Brad Rogers in and good morning Brad, how are you sir? I'm good, I'm good, thank you for having us. Thanks for joining us and uh, obviously another month has gone by, how's things going at Woodlawn Health? We're doing well, um, a lot of exciting stuff coming on and, uh, and, and really I'm going to say the end of, but kind of the trickling down of a very busy summer in the marketing area and, and out in the community. We had a great time this past weekend at the Kiwana Festival. I think there were 20 roughly of us out there walking through the parade and, and enjoying that. And so we really, really appreciate being able to be a part of that. That was a lot of fun. So Always neat, too, to see uh, everybody out there because maybe... Maybe you go to the doctor's office there, but you don't realize who all works in other departments. So it's kind of neat to see uh, some other faces going, oh, I didn't realize they weren't there. Yeah, we had staff from the laboratory. We had staff from the clinics. Uh, we had staff from the therapy department. So, you know, we had a wide mix yeah. of people out there. And, and, and our CEO, Alan, and his wife were there, as well as myself and Krista and, and several others. And our IT director, we had a it was a nice time. Really? And you know what? What a great little event. My yeah. goodness, a lot of people, <laughs> a lot of activities. The kids out there were having a ball. Yeah. It keeps um, growing. It really does. It was it was very nice. Very nice. And great great weather for us. Perfect too. weather. Yes. So, yeah. yeah. We really enjoyed it. So obviously a board meeting. Yeah, we seem to have those every month yeah. now. Yeah. Pretty that's, consistently. That's a good thing. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Take care um, of business. <clears throat> absolutely got to do that. And so we'll go over the quick financials and then we'll we'll get to the fun stuff. Um, overall, for the month, we had a $15,000 operational uh, profit or operational revenue on that. Um, you know, that's what we've been striving for all year long, making sure that we're making money on the things inside the four walls of the hospital. Um, net income for the month was about 374000 That comes from all of our other additional contracts and things we have out there. So um, year to date, that means we're at about $200,000 um, profit on operations. Um, or net revenue on operations, and we're about $3.2 million in net income. Mm -hmm. Good. So what that really does is, is that puts us about $4.5 million above our expectations based on the initial budget. Um, throughout Indiana right now, if you look at anything in the news, you'll see that most facilities, um, including our, our big Ascension and St. Vincent's and, and IU Health and all the, all the larger mm -hmm. institutions, almost all of them are predicting a loss for the year. Wow. Um, I think news recently we had a, a billion dollar loss in a couple of healthcare facilities across the country. So um, very, very good and very positive for Woodlawn. Good. We're working that uh, that direction. And like you said, it's taken years to get there, but uh, you know, and yes. a lot of dedication. Absolutely, we've we've been talking about this. I think since early last year, maybe the the, the end of the year before. Um, it's it's going to take some more time to even build on that, but right. we're we're heading in the right direction. Um, a couple of projects or a couple of pieces of equipment that were approved yesterday at the board meeting um, were great additions to Woodlawn. One is a blood analyzer, blood gas analyzer for the laboratory. Um, laboratory equipment is stuff that uh, it's almost like your cell phone. <laughs> Every couple of years it's out of date. Yeah, yeah. And so we like to keep up with the technology and the time. So uh, we're upgrading that machine, um, new technology, some additional testing features, and then just the more efficiency. Yeah. You help the lab workers and the and the community and the patients yeah. to be able to get the results back faster. Yeah. So good. yes, very good. So that'll be coming uh, in here shortly. And then on a safety standpoint and, and, and comfort standpoint, um, in our operating rooms, we are adding this new additional um, sensor system for humidity and temperature. Mm. So you always want to keep things at a very consistent temperature and humidity in an operating room. Um, and this system is, a, is very, very unique. Bluetooth connectivity, it connects to uh, a cell phone, text <coughs> messaging, it, it connects to email. So what it'll do is it'll allow us 24 hours a day, seven days a week for our maintenance staff, our surgery staff, and everyone to know, are there any fluctuations in that? There's very specific ranges we keep things for infection control standpoints, and this is just a nice add-on. So Good. very nice. Awesome. Um, we have a similar system we use in the clinics for our uh, refrigerators and freezers that have to do with medications. You know, you've got sometimes tens of thousands of dollars worth of vaccines in these freezers and, and refrigerators in some of the outlying clinics. If something happens and that goes down over the weekend, yeah, you want to know about it. You lose a lot of money. <laughs> so we instituted this system a couple of years ago and we're just kind of branching it out now. That's it. So that was a nice addition. And then really just a reminder, and, and this isn't necessarily from the board meeting, but a reminder that um, we got a lot of new providers 
um, come unto us or who have just started. Yeah. Um, we've got Elizabeth Rodriguez out at the Akron Clinic who started with us a couple weeks ago, a nurse practitioner out there uh, joining that team. So, um, you know, give her a call and, and get out there to see her and, and uh, welcome her to that community. Um, we've got Dr. Anthony Witt, um, family practice physician, joined Fulton County Medical. Um, he started last week. Okay. I went over and saw him yesterday. He's plugging right along, 12, 15 patients a day already and, and uh, doing a great job. So um, get out and see them. And then um, next month, we've got Dr. Amadi, uh, family practice physician who also does uh, um, C-sections and OB as well. And um, she'll be beginning with us in mid-October. Okay. She'll be right there at the hospital upstairs in the Woodlawn Medical Professionals area. Um, so right there uh, down the hall from the OB and all of that. So we'll, we'll welcome her soon. And then Kyle Summers, um, she's a family uh, nurse practitioner and primarily focusing on our occupational health and, and wellness uh, department okay. that we're starting up. And so, um, you know, she's been working with us and kind of getting up to speed. And, We'll have an announcement of it, a big official opening date for that that department soon. Okay, so awesome. a lot of people joining the community. Here well, you mentioned the uh, Fulton County Clinic, and you've been in it uh, about, about a month now or so. How's it going? Um, patients love it. Yeah, um, it's got a really nice, smooth flow. Um, you know, the, the we put in these two new shop rooms um, up front, and and they're really rooms designed for people who just need to go in and get their vaccines mm -hmm. or or need to go in and give blood work, you know, give blood okay. for, for laboratory work. They can go in, um, nurses can come in from one side, patient can come in from the other, get their lab work done, get their injections done, and then they're out the door. They don't actually have to go all the way back into the clinic. Ah. So that's been really efficient for the staff over there. Um, there are also overflow rooms in case we get crazy busy. Um, <clears throat> 12 exam rooms over there, we've got four providers over there now, and, and um, you know, uh, Physicians had been at one location for a long time, so there's growing pains in that. And where do I find the band-aids right, right. and uh, those kinds of things? Uh, and uh, now they've settled in. And I was talking to Dr. Brubaker the other day, and he, he said, you know, I, I got to admit, he said, I have had more positive reviews from patients and uh, how this is set up than I ever thought I would. Yeah. Good. He said, you know, that change for us was pretty tough. Yeah. But um, patients are loving it. Well, right. you know, one of those things, you know, sometimes you just kind of refresh things and, and modernize yeah. uh, how things go. And obviously uh, downtown for a very long time. So uh, a, a good refresh. Absolutely. Patients love it. New technology and everything there. Um, it's just very smooth for them. Awesome. Awesome. What else is happening? Well, Krista is busy all the time. She is busy all the time. So be between those uh, fairs and festivals we've done this summer, she's got quite a few things coming up. Um, I'll mention a few of them, and then, and then she can add in uh, some additional things. Um, we've got uh, Fall Back into Healthy Habits. That's really a Chamber of Commerce event um, coming up at the Geneva Center on October 20th, um, Women's Health Function. Um, go to the uh, Chamber of Commerce to register and get details. Right. We want to make sure we get that plug out there for them. And then there's a group in the community called uh, MOPS, M-O-P-S. It's Mothers of Preschoolers. And on October 24th, uh, they're going to be doing a uh, breast health panel Q&A session. Okay. And Krista, where's that one going to be located? That one is at Grace United Methodist Church here in Rochester from 6 to 8 for moms who have any actually children um, in preschool to actually high school. So if you have one of them, um, a child in that age range, please come out. Um, this is a very informal way to ask some questions that maybe you don't feel comfortable always asking. Um, your provider will have, monography will be there that night. We'll have Elizabeth Rodriguez, our new nurse practitioner. She will be there uh, along with, we will have an oncology nurse as well. So we'll have a wide spectrum that you can get multiple different um, opinions from that will help you out have any questions cool and then just again you know october is breast cancer awareness month so just another event to try to help uh, boost that information out there in the community cool. and, and we want to remind everybody get your mammograms get in touch with your provider get in touch with the hospital and get those done early detection early detection for for really any right. form of cancer any form of medical thing is, is the best medicine yeah. so um and then we've got um, you know obviously we've got halloween we're going to be downtown here passing out the candy at the booth fest and yeah. go guys up well you know some people say i wear a mask every day uh, i wasn't going okay okay 
Um, we'll, we'll see about that one. But we will definitely be handing out candy and, and that stuff in the awesome. community. And then we're going to have a group out at Akron as well, doing the same downtown, and then also up at Argus as well. Perfect. So, um, you know, each of those events are on different days. So we'll, we'll be giving out a lot of candy to these little kids in yeah. the communities. Awesome. So. And then um, next week. <clears throat> so this is going to be one of those... Um, I'll give you some information, but not tell you the whole story. Ooh. Yeah, it's a little suspense here. A little, a little Paul, suspense. Paul Harvey type stuff. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, the rest of the story will come next week. Okay. Um, so Woodlawn Hospital is going to be winning a national award next week. Wow. Cool. Um, on the uh, 3rd of October, um, I think that time is 1.30. Mm -hmm. Um, there at the hospital, uh, we're going to be winning a national award. Awesome. And so that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> in addition to come on out and see the yeah. see the award be given to us. Uh, we've got the Indiana Hospital Association coming and, and quite a quite a large group of different media as well. So come on out and, and check it out. 1.30. 1.30 next Tuesday on the 3rd. There you go. Absolutely. And then anything else, Christy, you oh, can think of? I wanted to just add for um, the chamber event, we will be providing the panel of speakers. I just want to make sure the community knows um, the amazing panel we're having. We're going to have Dr. Amadi. She uh, will be only, she won't even be with us a week and we have her out in the community <laughs> speaking um, on women's health um, issues. And she's also a family uh, or a primary care doctor, so she can do the spectrum there. We also have Alex Bainey. He is our director of rehab. And we have Linda, and she's um, with phonography. So we're going to have those three professionals out, and they're going to talk about some tips and tricks, and then they're also going to answer Q&A. So um, it's just a great way um, to get any questions answered that you might have, and a way to um, meet one of our new providers um, out in the community as well. Cool. Yeah. Busy, busy times. Really is. We're really looking forward to this next month, and then a lot of uh, new things coming on. So. Yeah, but yeah. Dad, don't forget, guys. Next next week, get on out there. Tuesday, one thirty. Tuesday, one thirty. I got it wrote down. Absolutely. All right. All right. Well, I'll say congratulations now uh, for, for whatever it for might be, whatever the award is. That's right. Congratulations, and then we'll have more on that coming up next Tuesday. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Anything else this morning? No, we're just happy right. and thankful you guys are having us. Hey, here. enjoy the uh, fall weather. All right. You All too. Right. Well, on the health report here on the Giant NFL.